on guys so I'm gonna show you something that's really really awesome today today we're gonna to talk about um, ChatGBT's new integration with close.io or close CRM or close.com however you want to call it um, this is a very very robust and awesome thing to be using especially if you're a sales manager or if you're the CEO of the company um, your sales reps can use this as well um, however I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So first thing we need to do is we're going to go to chat GBT, create a new chat, and we're going to need to be on GPT-4. So you are going to need to have a paid subscription with chat GBT. You can't just use this on the free version. Once you switch over to GPT-4, then you're going to go to plugins and you're going to go to the plugin store just like this and search for close. Once you find close, you're just going to install it. Simple as that. Once you install it, it'll look like that. It'll be using this plugin at, as it relates to your conversation with ChatGPT. I'm gonna show you how insane this can get. So for example, I can come here and say, build me a list of all the leads with the status potential um, that have not been contacted in over 30 days, as an example. It will literally crawl your chat GBT, or sorry, it will crawl your close IO, and use the CRM once you allow it and integrate it. Um, then it's gonna use a CRM and spit out very important data that allows you to save so much time, and then it creates the list for you. I'll show you exactly how we're using it. There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Um, so here's an example, right? Here's a list with the status potential that have not been contacted in over 30 days. So once it finishes typing out what it needs, it'll give you a couple examples, but then it'll also say you can have the full list here and then you can just click that. That'll populate your close IO instance. Um, and then you'll be able to see all the filters are already applied and here's all the potential leads that need to be contacted because they're potential status and they have not been contacted yet. So it gives you exactly what you need. Now, other use cases um, can be like this. So I'll show you just a little bit of what I've you know, previously asked uh, ChatGBT to do. Um, give me one second here. Okay, here's an example. So I asked ChatGBT, okay, here's a particular customer. Summarize our company's interaction between this guy and, and our company, essentially. So then it's, it's set, it'll, it'll give you, first of all, the status, when's the last update, the lead URL, recent activities via email, lead status change, um, how many calls, you know, what the notes are and all those details. And this can be very helpful when you're, for example, looking to you know, submit evidence on a dispute with a partic particular client. Um, you can ask ChatGPT now to produce all the close IO interactions and uh, things that will help you in your dispute such that you don't need to go crawling for all the information anymore. So that's a really awesome thing because it can take time to find all the details to build up a dispute case as to why you should be you know, not uh, allowing the credit card company to dispute your stuff. Now, another thing is like, you can say summarize my call volume or summarize my um, you know, email, outbound email volume and it'll tell you the exact number just like this and then you can see the full report in, C in the CRM. As well, I asked it, give me a summary of how my one of my sales reps is doing in the last, let's just say, three months, right? So it went ahead and it crawled over through ChatGPT and told me, okay, he made four, he, he called roughly around 400 leads. Um, he's made emails to roughly about 399 of those leads and he scheduled about 385 meetings, which is great. Then I can say, okay, based on the exact same rep, how much revenue did he bring in? And then it'll tell me, okay, here are some examples of people he brought revenue in, and it'll tell me the exact amount of revenue that he brought in so far. So I find that some of the stats are not accurate because um, if you don't keep your CRM clean, this is why keeping your CRM clean is arguably the most important thing now because some of the deals it's calculating, first of all, it's not pulling all the deals, which is the problem. And second, because he's not marking them as one in the status of the deal. So if I go to close, right, and I pull open a status of any random lead, um, you know, there's there's a status uh, capability. So if I go here and I look at the CRM and I say, uh, you know, what's the status? If the status is not one over here with an amount, then it's not going to actually pull the information. 
So same thing applies, right? So you can see a sale here for zero, for zero. That's because they weren't marked correctly. As well, the number of leads is, is actually wrong because they weren't marked correctly in terms of their status. So this is now making Close.io super usable in terms of like quick managerial access. You can come in and see the exact values of things and understand exactly how much and how everything is working but now the key is to make sure everything's 100% clean because you know with represent with sales reps oftentimes there might be situations where they're not exactly like keeping everything accurate and clean even though you know whatever their commissions are paid out and all those things i can be like give me a summary of how another sales rep named Jared Dollar is doing so far in the last 30 days as an example so you can see that ChatGPT is just going to go ahead and ping the API, go through close, find his information, and just spit back a quick summary. So this can also be helpful when you're dealing with like, you know, performance reviews and you're dealing with, you know, let's just say every 90 days you do a performance review with your sales rep, right? Um, you can come in here and just literally ask ChatGPT to produce a performance review for you and you don't have to sift through all the details or custom reports you can let it do its job, which is a really, really valuable situation. Like, so here you can see that it's, uh, it's going through the process right now. It's using the CRM to provide a, uh, you know, an actual performance, you know, understanding of how he's doing. So like, look, he's interacted with, let's just say 98 leads in the last month. Um, you know, here's some of the leads, etc. And then you can, it's gonna say, okay, you can view the complete list. It'll give you lead interaction, activities, Let's say how many or who he's act actively communicating with. Super, super insane value here. Um, it's gonna, t another thing like, you know, after this is finished, I'm gonna show you something. So you can see that some of it is not actually accurate because it's not pulling. So you have to use it correctly, right? So if I, if I came here and I said, tell me which lead we should focus on um, in the next, one to two weeks based on the close.com information. So it's now going to produce an API hook. It's going to go through it and find the information and tell us literally which leads to focus on based on how ready they are and what not to be closed. So let's uh, see what it produces here. So here's a few leads that need to be focused on. Now it's asking me what I like specific leads. Okay, so perfect. So I'm gonna say yes. Boom, here are some leads specifically that Jared, that rep specifically should focus on because of the interactions they're already having with our company. How many emails they're opening, how many uh, emails they're sending us, how many calls, what's the call duration, what are the notes on the deal? What are the details? So you don't need to sift through all that information when you can just have chat GBT scrape this information for you and, uh, and then go ahead and tell you what to do. So, and this can be very powerful, especially if you have thousands of leads that you're focusing on. Um, you need to have like, if you have a lot of volume, you can see, we can see the full lead list and he can go ahead and start hitting the list, right? There's a lot of really custom ways to do this. So I can even say, summarize Ricky Wilson's recent interactions with leads. If I wanna see, okay, what is she saying or what you know what's happening with this particular rep? Now it can come in and we can see exactly what's going on without having to do anything. So I'm still testing this, okay? They have said, Close.io has announced that they will be updating this uh, plugin with ChatGPT over the next couple months. So it is going to get better. Um, but what's nice is that here's the beauty about this. If you use plugins correctly, like you can even say, like provide me a performance review of this person. So I'm just gonna say here, provide me with a detailed performance review for Ricky Wilson. Um, okay, it's gonna give me that detailed performance review. And then what you can do as well is go up to the top 
you can copy the information that it's producing. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do in a second. You can copy the information it's producing, and then you can use another plugin to, to take that information it produced and create a PDF out of it. So that way you don't, it just automatically creates a downloadable PDF. You download the PDF, it has all the information around the performance review. And then what you can do is you can uh, you can just book a meeting with that rep and then go ahead and summarize the details and send them a formal performance review um, within uh, you know PDF format. So super powerful, right? So um, we're gonna wait for this to actually go ahead and complete. All in all, I just created this video to make you guys aware of the integration between close.com and ChatGPT. And now you guys might use it in more efficient ways than me. So go ahead and try this out. Uh, you won't regret it. I can already, I'm just, just me spitballing ideas, but I can already think of countless other ways that this can be used. You know, you can create custom tables using ChatGPT. You can create custom PDFs. You can literally automate the managerial work. Um, so this is me thinking from a managerial standpoint, managing a sales team. However, you can also do this per rep, right? Like, let's just say, you know, you wanted to use ChatGBT to figure out exactly what to say to a particular lead. You can do that as well. You can say, okay, please summarize the interactions between this person. Please, sorry, analyze the interactions between this lead and then find me the perfect email follow-up to send over to this lead so that he will actually rebook a call or you know become a client at a higher rate. Because um, ChatGBT now has access to everything, it has access to all your email templates, your close AO records, your sales activity records, reports, um, inbox, like literally everything, right? You can say summarize the tasks that were completed in close AO. Um, quite literally everything in your Close.io account is now accessible to ChatGBT. So you can use it in very, very creative ways um, for your reps on an individual level they can be using this or you know for your for your for your managers or for your for your owners to be able to 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 really understand how everything's moving within the company and how to deliver performance reviews, understand what to attack and what direction to take. So couldn't be more happy about this integration. I strongly, strongly recommend everyone watching this video, go ahead and get this done if you are a close.com user. If you're not a close.io user, then you can just click my affiliate link in the description. Um, if you do that and you sign up, I get to see who signs up. So I'll, I'll give you my entire close.io setup. So I have all my smart views, templates, all those details will be handed right to you if you use my affiliate link and you're a paying user. Um, this will take your game to another level. I'm gonna probably think of a lot of different prompts for this um, over the next you know, couple days to, to weeks. And I'll once I have that prompt list, feel free to email me, avi at variancemarket.com, or just comment on this video below, uh, indicating you want that prompt library for Close.io. Um, and I'd be happy to, to share that with you guys. So, and once again, um, if you guys do want to see more content like this, all you gotta do is like and subscribe. Um, I like to post more and more each day. So, uh, loving the community I'm building here on YouTube. So, definitely go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments uh, and we will chat soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.